Hi, how you doing? I want to do something really quick for you. I want to talk about energy vampires. This is very important because they're out there and they're everywhere. <clears throat> and a lot of times people don't even realize they're energy vampires. They basically, they latch onto somebody's energy and they try to drain it in any way they can. The idea is contact. To get a hold of them, I talk about emails and um, messages that people send. <clears throat> Part of the link energetically is when you respond to the emails or messages that's the link that's one way you can meet people in the physical and they become attached to your energy and they want to be a part of it or you just have people straight up fucking hating on you and juju and your shit which i've had which i have but there's reasons but that's not i haven't done anything wrong it's it's when you do right that's when they hate you so that's one of the things i like i said when you when you're chosen to stand up and do something, and be a part of the universe, work for the universe, you're going to be attacked by the dark energies. It's that simple. <clears throat> and a lot of times I will explain to you about that too. I've been attacked constantly this last year while I'm healing. And that's pissing off a lot of my spirits. My, the universe is getting a little pissed. And those people that are doing that, they're, they're probably in the middle of some shit right now. I can guarantee that. <clears throat> because it doesn't work. Once you rise, I tell people about the high the vibration. When you raise your vibration... And you raise it up to the point where low vibration people, they can't, they can't affect you anymore. I mean, they could talk to you and say hi or whatever, but they can't trigger you. They can't get you to respond. They can't, they can't touch your energy. You, you're able to control and protect your energy in ways that they just can't tap into. When somebody tries, you cut their asses off quick. Block them, do what you got to do. <clears throat> and one way I'll talk to you about that too. One thing I discovered in when I was getting attacked, there were usually... If you know you're being psychically attacked, you will start getting negative thoughts and it, there will always be um, stinking thinking on you. Like you're not good enough, you, what are you doing, you're gonna fail. These, these are really weird thoughts. A lot of times, and that's not me, that's not normally my way of thinking. So when I feel that way and those thoughts come up, I know somebody's juju my shit. <clears throat> and a lot of times, what it does, if you really let it affect you, it, start, it feels like a depression. We start getting into a where you don't want to go out, you don't want to see nobody, and you just want to hide in your hole. And that's when you got to break that. That's the, that's the spell that you got to break. When you get up off your ass and you get out into the world and you do anything, do some yard work, do something to get your mind off of that, any kind of negativity, and you start thinking positive, you break the fucking spell automatically just by going out and getting off your ass. By moving, by taking the effort, to get out of the into the world that's it i noticed a lot of times when i started getting really jujued hard <clears throat> i had to keep rolling i had to just keep powering on and just saying fuck it you're not going to stop me it's not happening and i wouldn't let it and i noticed that when i did that all these positive things would follow so that's what i need you to understand when you work on yourself and somebody's jujuing you or you're still feeling down you just got to get up and do you got to move do some hobbies do crafts like i'm doing a freaking wand you know, they're wands, but they're really cool. I'll show you when I'm done. They're really neat. But that's just one thing I'm working on. It's keeping me busy. It's, and actually, the wands, it's funny because I was told to work on magical items for protection. So I'm going to work on these wands. I'm going to put my energy into the wands. And then I'm going to sell them to people. Nobody's going to buy these wands unless they deserve them. It's just how it works. That's how the universe works. No asshole is going to come up and want to buy my wand. Exactly, see? <clears throat> so, protect your energy. It's important. And if you start feeling depressed or any of that crap, stinking thinking on yourself, get out into the world. Tell yourself you're fucking the empress or emperor of the universe. Fuck that shit. That's not you. It's not going to happen. You're awesome. You deserve better than that. You are better. You're a miracle. And a story. That's straight from God. So, And I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. So protect your energy and live in the love and light. Yeah, that sounds right. Take the high ground and keep it. All right? Do good. And I'm going to let you go with a shot of this beautiful valley. <clears throat> okay.